Hello and uh, welcome back to another lecture. We're going to talk about how we're going to design a highway vertical curve. And as we go along, we explain things, everything step by step. But just take a look at the problem. We have this uh, uh, vertical curve and that it's uh, intersected by 3% going up and 4% going down. W the only information we have here is would be where would two uh, tangents kind of intersect at uh, point of intersection. We have an elevation of 250 and it at is at station 345 plus 60. So uh, uh, that's all we have. And also we're going to design it for a 75 mile an hour curve. And uh, take a look at the, uh, uh, the procedure that we have. We're going to follow step by step. So the first thing we're going to go ahead we do, we're going to uh, find the minimum length of, of the curve with basically to satisfy the uh, uh, side distance requirement. And really, we, we should use Astro's uh, uh, equation. And, and we know we talked about there are five different ways we can calculate the uh, minimum uh, uh, length of the curve. It could be based on uh, appearance, based on drainage, based on comfort, and based on uh, side distance requirement. But here, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, K factor from Astro table uh, 335. We're going to go ahead and calculate L based on uh, Astro equation. L is equal to K times A. Now, A is a difference between the, uh, the algebraic difference between the two grades. So I'm going to say A is equal. I have 3% minus, and this is a minus 4%. So that makes it 7. So grade up minus basically combination of two numbers. And then here, K from the table came out to be 312. Multiply that by 7, and we have 2184 feet. All right, so what, what that means is that mean for the, our distance between BVC, beginning of the curve, and end of the curve, which is L right here, that is uh, 2184. And this will be the center of it. So, first thing I want to find out, I want to know. What is the station of BVC is? So station beginning of the curve is equal. If this is a 345 plus 60, okay, that means I have to come back half of this, which would be 2184 minus that much. Remember, these are stations. Station 345, each station is 100 feet. So this is basically 345 times 100 plus 60. And 2184 divided by 2, so that's going to be minus 2184 divided by 2. And if I simplify that, that's become basically 345 plus 60. That's a stationing, OK? Minus, that become 1092. So 1092, that mean uh, it's a 10 plus 92. Now, this number is basically 1092. If I divide by 100, become 10 station, which means which mean 10 times 100, and then you have 92 left over. Now, I'm going to go ahead and find out what station is this. I'm going to deduct those two from each other. So I'm going to say, OK, I can rewrite 345 plus 60 as 344 plus 160. Then I can minus 10 plus 92. 160 minus 92 is, is 68. And then 344 minus 10 is 334. I'm going to come in here. So this station right here is going to be uh, 334 plus 68. That's the beginning of the curve. And let's find out what this station is. It's the same philosophy. We're just going to add. Uh, 1092 to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, that's going to be 345 plus 60, that is, plus 10 plus 92. Remember, if this is 2184, half of it is 1092, and the other half is, this comes out basically, um, 
1092 or 10 station plus 92 feet. So if I add this, 92 plus 60 become, uh, become 152. I'm going to just write down the 50 and take the 100 added to this. So it become 345 plus 11, which become 356. Uh, 356 plus 52. Double check that, kind of learn that it's really simple algebraic uh, equation. Nothing to it. So now we have this station become 356 plus 52. 356 plus 52. So the next thing I want to find out, I want to know what is the tangent elevation at BVC. When I mean by tangent elevation, this is my tangent line going down. Okay, so the tangent elevation is this elevation on this line, this straight line going up, which is a 3% going up. What is the elevation at station 334 plus 60? Our goal is to find the station, each station, layout each station on this curve and find the elevation on top of this curve. And as we, you can see from the diagram, we said, okay, right here, this distance between this elevation and this elevation right here, we're going to call that y. And then the equation for y is, uh, uh, we just write it here, equation for y is equal a x squared divided by 200 L. We already know what our L is. A is 7, so what is X? If I'm going to start from here, my X is going to start from here. X is going to be basically going from here. That's your X, whatever number we're going to come. Be patient. we get there in a second. So let's go ahead first. We're going to find out what is the elevation, tangent elevation at X is equal 0, basically, which is BVC right here. We know that the elevation of this point right here is 250. Remember a simple triangle? I'm just going to re rewrite this right here and uh, re-sketch it, I mean. Okay. Picture this. This is your uh, BVC, this point, and this is your PVI. So this is elevation 250. This is 3%. <coughs> and this distance came out to be 2184 divided by 2, which was 1,000. 92. So what is the elevation right here? Well, we're going to say the elevation at BC, BVC is equal, that's a 250 minus, I'm coming down 3%, a each foot 3%, 3%, 3%, so I'm going 1,092. So it's going to be minus 1,092 times 3%, which is a 0, 0,03. And that's equal. Two hundred and seventeen point twenty two twenty four. So now we know the elevation at this point is two seventeen point two four. Now here because we got so many stations to get there, the best way is to go ahead and use Excel. And so go ahead, fire up your computer, get the Excel going, and let me bring it up on the screen here as we go along. Okay, so now we look at the Excel right here. Go ahead and make these uh, four column, make it one for station, and then one uh, heading distance from the BVC, tangent elevation, offset Y, and curve elevation. And go ahead and, and uh, make your uh, um, station in, start from BVC 334 plus 68, and then go to the next whole station, which become 335. And then go ahead, type in each 100 feet, 336, 337, until you get to 345. And then go ahead, write down the PVI station, which is the center, and that is the uh, 345 plus 60. And continue go all the way down to the uh, um, come over here. Uh, continue all the way until you get to the uh, BVC. And uh, just let me come back in here. Station was three thirty-five. So I'm going to say, okay, this is a just pretend this is a three thirty-five. And the distance between three thirty-five and 368 comes out to 
you say to yourself, um, it takes another 32 feet to make it here, so that's a 32 feet. So distance is a 32 feet. So my x1 is equal 32 feet. All right, I want to know what the elevation is on tangent. My run is not quite good, but if you at 332, the curve is kind of separate from the curve. It's a, let me erase this here for a second. My BVC saying that 334 plus 68, assuming this is station right there, 335, and that distance came out to be 32 feet, which we said is the X1. And we want to know what the elevation right here is. And then we want to find out this difference, which is Y. And then we can find the elevation on top of that uh, curve. And that's how we're going to proceed. Um, so continue. Because we know the grade right here came out to, to be 217, the elevation grade right here became out of 217.24. Uh, and that distance is 34. So the tangent elevation at this point, at this station, it become so tangent elevation at uh, 335 is equal We have 32 distance, uh, we have 217.24, 217.24, and the grid is going up at 3%. So I'm, I'm just moving 32 feet. So that is plus 32 times 0 0.03, and that's 218.20. All right, the next thing we're going to find out, I want to know what Y is. y is equal a times x squared divided by 200l. So a became 7. My x is uh, 32 squared. And divide that whole thing by 200 times uh, 2184. And that becomes 0 0.02. And now the elevation on this curve right here, 335 curve elevation is uh, going to be 218.2 minus 02, which is 218.18. And we're going to go ahead and come up here. And we knew the distance of the um, first th station to BVC, obviously 0, because that's where the, the BVC is right here. Then we're going to go the tangent elevation in there was calculated to be uh, 217.24, 217.24. And the offset, obviously, they're on top of each other right there, so that's 0. And the equation is going to be um, same thing, 217.24. Now we go to the next one. And we did manually calculate that the difference between 334 plus 16 and 335 came out to 32 feet. So tap in 32 right there. And uh, the tangent elevation, we go ahead and put an equation. We're going to do a tangent elevation. Click on that, tap in equal. And then you're going to tap in 217.24. That's the ele base elevation at beginning of the curve, 217.24. Be careful, don't you be going click on the cell above, because if you do that, then it will carry to each, each uh, cell when you drag it down. We don't want to do that. So just write down the number 217.24. Plus, now you can go ahead and click next cell, which is a 32 feet, and should be C5, multiply by, oops, multiply by uh, 0 0.03 and enter. And there's your grade, tangent grade, which we came up with 218.20. So we're going to go ahead and calculate the offset y. And there's the equation right there. So I'm going to type in equal uh, parentheses. Then a was 7%. Multiply that by uh, x squared. So we'll type on c5 again. Click c5 and put in 
shift number six, which is making by power two, and close the uh, parentheses, divided by uh, parentheses open, 200 time 2184, close the parentheses, enter. And then you go to the next cell, well, obviously is equal, uh, cell D5 minus cell uh, E5. Enter, and there is, we had the result 2018.2. Now remember here, and this distance is very important, you got 32, the next one is 100 feet away, so I'm gonna just go ahead and, and tap in equal this cell plus 100 and tap in enter. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold this corner and bring it down until I get to the middle, right where I have the uh, PVI because everything is at 100. Whoops, one more. Nope, let's do it again. That's better. Now the next one is from is 345 to 345 plus 60, so just gonna add 60. That's gonna be equal this cell plus 60, enter. And the next cell is gonna be from plus 60 to 46, which is plus 40. So I'm gonna say is equal this cell above it, plus 40, enter. Now we're gonna go back to regular 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, equal and cell above, plus 100, enter. Now I grab that one until I get to the bottom of the uh, stack right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead to the next final. I'm gonna type in equal above cell plus, because you're going to only 52, and hit enter, and there it is, 2184, which is length of our curve. And if you go to PVI, you see 1092, which is halfway, that's correct. So now you got this all set. We can go ahead and continue with the rest of them. Click on the tangent elevation, grab the corner, and bring it all the way down to the bottom. Let it go, and then do the same thing with the uh, tangent offset. Grab the corner, bring it all the way down. There they are. And we're gonna go ahead and click this one and same thing. Come on, we can do it. Bring it all the way to the bottom and let it go. And there it is. So that's how it's done. Hope this was useful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.